Hey guys, uh, I thought I'd make a video of uh, the scooter I just bought <clears throat> because um, I couldn't find any reviews uh, about it on uh, online in, in English or in, uh, in Spanish. Um, yeah, I live in Spain and that may be a scooter which is only sold here in Spain. I don't know about any European countries they sell it. The brand is called Brick Motion, something like that. Brick M T O N, and this is the model number B S K one thousand. That one, Brick Motion B S K one thousand. So I'm just about to return it. You see the box here. Um, the online web shop I bought it from is about to come and pick it up. Uh, and I tell you why I return it. I tell you the good things and the bad things about it. Um, to start with, I made a little list. Um, it's cheap. It cost um, 417 euros. Um, normally it's a little bit more. It's just under 500, but there was a promotion on this website for 417, so I, I decided to buy it uh, because a friend of mine. Um, down here in in Spain in Valencia, he's the the person who who, who service it. Uh, he owns a bike uh, bicycle shop, so he, he suggested this to me to buy, and so I I went with it. So it's cheap. Uh, for the price you pay, uh, it's I think it's a good thing, unless something happens to it. What happened to to mine? Uh, the best thing, or the other good thing about it, is it has double suspension. It's got the front and it's got the rear uh, suspension also. Uh, and it works. I mean, I have a bit of experience with scooters. I had, uh, I have had uh, the first um, Xiaomi when it came out a couple of years ago. Then I had the um, Xiaomi Pro Plus, uh, Pro Pro Two. Uh, a couple of weeks ago actually and uh, but I also I also returned that I bought that from media market I returned that the thing is I live I live on a hill um, it's about 200 meters above uh, sea level and um, within within a couple of kilometers so I need something powerful which would bring me up but unfortunately the Xiaomi wouldn't bring me up uh, here on the hill and this one either neither uh, this is a bit more powerful because the Xiaomi is only 350 watts and this one is 500 watts and um, but to be fair I don't feel that much of a difference between between the Xiaomi and this one this is a little bit more powerful it feels but not much the size of the battery is nearly the same it's on paper is a little bit bigger than on the Xiaomi Pro 2 because this is uh, 13 uh, 13 amp hour uh, the only difference is that this is 48 volts Xiaomi is only 36 so if you if you count the watt, watt hour it's, it's 600 plus mm, but on my first uh, journey I made uh, 14 kilometers uphill but uh, I nearly drained the battery, so it's not what I expected. The other good thing is for 400 euros, 417 euros, 500 euros, it's a decent quality. It doesn't feel cheap, cheap, cheap. It's, it feels okay. It's not as good as a Xiaomi. Um, the Xiaomi uh, quality wise, I think it's great. Whichever model you look at. Um, for for the for the for the price you pay, it's a decent decent quality. Look at the things, the, the dial, the brakes. It has double um, disc brakes, front and rear. They uh, operated with cable. Yeah, I don't think you can expect. Um, the oil one on, on, on this price. It works okay. 
the other good thing about it is the, the light. It has it's a, it's a very visible thing at night. We have an indicator which kind of you know it's not something very useful but we have the horn. I mean the quality I think for this money is okay. You can adjust the handlebar up and down. This is also great. You can fold the handlebar down for this thing with one hand. So it falls down, that's another good thing. But all this adjustment makes the handlebar a little bit uh, a little bit not so stable, you know? It has it has some movement, but let's stay with the with the with the positive things. I'll tell you about the negative things later. Uh, I told you about the brakes, the battery it, on paper is big. Uh, my experience so far is not it's not what it should be. I mean, I expected a little bit more uh, for 13 amp uh, 48 volts. So it only lasted 14 kilometers. But I'm saying again, I came uphill, and uh, these things don't like to go uphill. I mean, electric. Uh, I have an electric bicycle also, and um, the the range drastically drops when when uh, you go uphill. Um, but I expected a little bit more out of a 48 volt. 13 amp hour thing um, so that's, a, that's, that's about the, the positive things it's got uh, 10 inch uh, pneumatics uh, they, they, they're decent the tires are not decent uh, the voiding mechanism is, is kind of it's okay the only thing I find is to operate it, it's a little, little hard to uh, to fold it. To uh, to put it back up, it's very easy. To fold it down, you need to kind of. I can't even do it with one hand. It's a lock to secure it, so it doesn't fold while you ride it. To unfold it, it's. Uh, I mean, to close it down, it's it's not it's not easy. Uh, maybe with time, it gets a bit more loose. But um, to fold it back up, it's okay. Okay, so now the negative. Let's see what I put down. Okay, so the I think the brakes are a little bit too close to the accelerator, so it's kind of in the way of your hand. I put the accelerator as far out as I could, but then I come for the handlebar. If you put it back here, then it becomes really close with the brake and that. So when you, it's, to be honest, I don't like it. It's, I much prefer the, the thumb operated version. This is a bit in the way. Yes, I, I, I really don't like it. When you use it, you get you can I guess you can get used to it, but um, I'm not sure. And the, another negative. Everywhere it says on the papers that it's 18.8 kilograms peso, 18.8 kilograms. Uh, I leave you just a little bit so you can see the. You can see the. The details about it so 18.8 .8. but when you look at the scooter you put it on the side and here it actually says it's upside down now <laughs> sorry about that but it says it's 20 kilos so it's not that big of a difference it's only 1.2 kilograms but it's becoming becoming kind of uh, kind of heavy you know okay 48 volts 13 amp power you can't expect very light because the battery has, has a lot of weight but you should put 20 kilos in there everywhere 
and they advertise it. Not 18.8. It comes another thing. It comes with the toolbox, which is which is good. Toolkit, not toolbox, toolkit. They give you all the Allen keys. So the scooter has four different sizes of Allen keys. So if you need to adjust the brake, the handlebar, this and that, four different sizes. Four different sizes. You. <laughs> <laughs> it's not doesn't seem to be much, but uh, when you actually use it, we have to adjust things. Uh, it's a bit of a okay. Why? Why could you not just do two? You know. Anyway, that's not big of an issue. Uh, another thing I noticed: it's easy to adjust the brake because if you know something about these brakes, these cable-operated uh, brakes. The inside pad wants quick, so you need to adjust it time to time. On the front, you see the little screw to adjust the front uh, brake. It's easy because you can you can get to it. At the rear, because of the the motor is there, you cannot access it from from the inside. So you have to remove. I think you have to remove the wheel to adjust the rear brake, which is a pain. Um, yeah, the other thing I didn't mention is it's real, 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 real um, motor, not the front. Like the Xiaomi, it's like the uh, the scooter. What was its name? Okay. The other things. Uh, 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 um, the close brake pads. Yeah, I think that's about it. So I will return it because on the way up. When I uh, I tried it, and I was coming home, and it kind of the motor overheated, and started vibrating, and it stopped. This friend of mine telling me that you need to kind of um, um, use the motor and the battery on on a on a flat surface for for a little bit, and then show the hills, but. Um, when I came up, I I, there, I came the the way which which is not the steepest uh, hill, and um, it, it it stopped working. So I don't I don't wish to um, keep this scooter because the range didn't impress me, and it, uh, the engine overheated. I'm only seventy five kilos. I had a five kilo melon in my bag, so we are eighty kilos with, with the melon. The scooter is rated much higher than that. It's rated uh, 150 kilos maximum you can you can take. So 80 kilos is just a little bit over half, and its engine overheated uphill. It didn't even bring me home. When it cools down, it, it goes again. But yeah, so I I, I return it. The other thing I haven't mentioned the charger. The first time I experienced this on a scooter. The charger has a little fan. This is a good thing because I suppose it can charge faster because it's being being cooled. But if you listen to it, it sounds like a like a hair dryer. So you need to think about this also if when you charge your your scooter. It's gonna make some noise, and if you charge it in your bedroom at night, uh, no, that's a no, no. Um, it's charging at the battery is nearly empty. It's charging at 0 0.9 amperes amper hour. So it's not much actually. I expected it to charge much faster. To take more, uh, let's see the. Let's see the watts. It, it is drawing 112.6 watts at the moment, and the battery is nearly empty. That's not relevant. Yeah, 0 0.98 amps. I mean, my other charge, my uh, my battery, my uh, 
electric bicycle charger draws 2 amp hours and it has a big battery just a comparison so you see what you get this scooter cost under 500 euros 417 at the moment that battery of my bicycle which I will make a review soon it is uh, 48 volts same as the scooter battery it's 14 amp hour so it's a little bit bigger just a little bit that cost 600 euros so for 400 it's okay I think but um, I don't wish to experiment with uh, with it to return it and get a new one and see if the, if the motor would be better or, or what's wrong with it so I just return it all right thanks a lot so I hope the review was useful and uh, see you in the next one